Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a short energy check-in for a fire signs. I will do each sign individually. The timestamp will be in the description box. Keep in mind this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you and energy could be vice versa. I'm gonna tell you a short story and you decide who is who in this story. If you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. Three, okay, I'm gonna take them. And hit that notification button so each time I post something new, you will be notified. And if you can hit like, share, and comment, thank you so much for doing that. Let's see. The first card came out here is the Nine of Cups. There is a wish coming true in somebody's life. I believe this wish is about a love situation. Somebody is working here, crafting their life, crafting their future, getting ready financially because they are dreaming about extending this cup of love and reaching this four of ones energy. This individual is working and dreaming about the about this there is a wish coming true in your life i don't know if this nine of cups is your wish fulfillment from this individual when they will come to you or maybe this is you when you are done and ready to extend your cup of love this situation is about to happen because this hard worker is going to reach their goal so they will be ready to be here. And this individual is feeling this Nine of Cups energy because they are feeling that they are too close to reach here. Let's see. The Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Based on my feeling, And, you know, I am usually depending on this, the feeling that I get. This individual, when they will come to the person that they want to be with, I believe there was something in the past between these two individuals. This individual here, this energy, did something wrong towards this, towards the partner, their lover. And now they are trying by working hard to make the wrong right. But this person is still hurt from the past and they are not trusting them. This individual here is afraid that this person is coming to play the same game and put them in the same energy. And this is the two of pentacles. I believe the shock will be for this person when they will go back to that partner that this partner is not welcoming them as they thought or they wished. This situation, I don't know if it will work or not. If it will work, it will take time till this individual come out of this Ten of Swords energy and take the decision that they want to go back. If this is you, I don't believe the other energy will welcome you with open arms. This energy is in pain and they are closed off in general. And they are closed off towards you even more. Let's see where our leading will take us. Today, I will start with Aries. This is a jumping card. Three cards for you, three cards for the energy that you are dealing with, Aries. Let's see. This is you. Nine of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Swords. Are you the one working hard to reach your goals so you can extend your love to the person in your mind? 
this is the energy that you are dealing with the five of cups the ace of cups the ace of swords mm -hmm. and this is the outcome you are waiting for the wish to come true my dear with this nine of cups I will start with this individual. Or you know what? Let me start with you. You are wishing for something to happen. Getting ready. You feel that you are about to be ready to extend your cup of love or to make that wish come true. But when you will start this, you will find out that there is a confusion here because you are you will feel that you are not as welcomed as you thought you will be. Now, keep in mind, this is could be vice versa. So pick your side. And this is will put you in the Eight of Swords because you put your hopes very high, thinking, believing that this person is waiting for you to come back and when you will come back, you will find out that this person is not ready to accept anything from you right now based on what happened in the past between you and them. Now, this individual is in the Five of Cups. There is a very big, deep disappointment in this individual life maybe based on what happened in the past. I believe this is an ex coming back to your life or you are going back to their life. But this individual hold the Ace of Cups towards you. This person loves you for real, unconditionally. And the bigger the love is, the deeper the pain will be because of that. This person is in a deep pain because they had a very, very big love towards you. I believe this individual, when you will come to them, I don't like maybe a part of them inside them will be happy because you are back because this person is in love with you unconditionally. But this, this individual will not let the past go in the past before opening up with this Ace of Swords and tell you everything happened, everything that they were holding and they are still holding inside them. And they will tell you about everything. This person will open up every single story happened in the previous situation between you and them. Without this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, this person will never be ready to be with you. And I believe this person will not let go without opening up and telling you how they feel. Now, the question is, after this conversation, are they ready to go back or not? I don't know. This person will open up so they can start new with you or they will open up because they want a closure in this situation. Let's find out. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Let's see. The Five of Swords. The conflict will start between you and them based on what? Based on this. There is a tensed energy between you and them because of what happened in the past. Is this is a temporary energy or this is what will happen for long term? I believe this will give us an answer about, whoa, wow. This is the outcome. This is the energy of the coming week. 
there is a tense energy between you and them but there is a beautiful outcome from this situation like this person will not make it easy on you but they will accept you because they are holding the ace of cups towards you and you are holding the nine of cups towards them and this is the ten of cups the happy ever after congratulations my dear your wish will come true thank you aries wish you all the best my dear let's see sagittarius Okay, Sagittarius, three cards for you, three cards for the energy that you're dealing with and one outcome. This is you. You are in a lot of pain, my dear. And this is the energy that you're dealing with. This is the outcome. This reading is for somebody who is stuck in a place, a situation. And they cannot come out of it. I don't know if you are Saj in a relationship or in a situation or stuck like you will have an obstacle in your life burdening you with this ten of swords and ten of wands and you are not ready or you cannot be with this individual it doesn't have to be a person maybe work maybe responsibilities maybe financial problem maybe emotional problem but you are you cannot be with them this person is very honest with you in their feeling and what they're showing you Sagittarius this person is waiting for you watching you stuck in this situation and not knowing what they can do to make it happen this individual knows that you are trapped somewhere. They are looking at you, watching you, but they don't know what to do to make it happen. They don't know what is the right thing to do. This person is very honest in everything that they are saying to you or showing you. Very honest. But they don't know if they can help you in this. They are sending you energy or maybe this is a communication, but I am feeling if this is a communication, this is an indirect communication. Maybe this individual is sending you signs to understand what they want or if like to ask you indirectly if they can help in this or maybe this person is sending you a message through somebody a friend a co um like a family member somebody both of you knows i don't know but this person is trying to send you indirect messages that they are waiting and they are interested and maybe they are in love there is an attraction here i don't know if this situation is in a place where we can say love i am not feeling that this person is interested to know you more feeling the attraction towards you and they want to try something with you but i don't know if this is reach the point of love i don't think so 
but this individual is serious and patient. Let's see the outcome. The page of ones. I believe there is something will happen in here. You will like start something exploring each other's maybe you will be like you will create a situation to be together maybe this is will not be love or a relationship but you will this individual i believe will find a way to be closer to you and to get in touch with you as i told you the way that i felt indirectly Maybe they will ask you for a friendship, maybe a project that they want to work with you, stay in the same area with you, being a friend of a friend, like as a group. This person is trying to create something to stay around you, trying to find out if there is any way to help you out of this energy. This person, as I told you, very honest, very serious, and very patient. And I believe with the help of them, you will find a way with, to come out of this trap that you are in right now. Good luck, Sagittarius. Good luck, my dear. Wish you all the best. I'm feeling the energy of someone who is giving up. Sagittarius, don't. You never know what tomorrow will bring. Don't give up. There is always a way. Leo. This is you. The magician, the devil, the four of wands. And this is the energy that you are dealing with. The sun, the six of swords, the five of cups. I mean the five of pentacles, sorry. And this is the outcome. This individual was so happy to find you. And they are trying to leave something to come to you. But I will tell you, based on my feeling, this person will be very disappointed because they think that you will accept them back in your life, but they will be surprised that you will not. I don't think you are attached to this person as you used to be. This is an ex. This is a story about an ex. If you are not asking about an ex, I believe this story is not yours. Maybe there is a message for you, but definitely this is not your story. This is a story about an ex coming back to your life, Leo. They are trying to come back with this Six of Swords, hoping with the sun here that everything will be awesome now. They are ready to be in your life. The shock will be that you are not ready to be with them anymore. I don't feel you want this person back in your life, Leo. I am feeling a single energy from here. I don't feel that you are attached with anyone or connected to anyone this magician is about you my dear you are focusing and i'm feeling this energy from you leo from a while now you are focusing on yourself and nothing else but yourself your stability your life your future this devil here is you obsessed with the 
idea about being stable on your own. You want this five of ones, that home, that stable home alone. You want to build this to yourself. You don't want right now for the time being, you don't want to share this with anyone and you don't want the help of anyone. You want to be stable on your own, Leo. Anyone will enter your life or leave your life. They will not shake the ground under your feet. You will accept an energy in your life as a love interest if somebody, you want them to be with you. But you are very determined that you don't want to need anyone in your life anymore. And I believe this is your focus. You are working very hard, Leo. You are working from in and out, meaning like you are crafting your life. You are planning about the future. And this is the devil energy because you are overworking everything. Overworking, overworking your emotions, your, your job, your future, your project. You are focusing on your life in every aspect trying to heal everything as the same at the same time as fast as you can now this is not right because if you will exhaust yourself with this devil energy here you will reach nowhere and if you will reach this five of ones you will be exhausted, done. Calm down, Leo. Cool down your energy. Give life time to take you where you want to go. Don't be obsessed about your stability in life. You are trying to be stable financially and you're trying to heal yourself emotionally and you're trying to be like socially, in every aspect of your life. Maybe health-wise as well, appearance. You are focusing on everything, trying to work as hard as you can to reach your goal as fast as you can. This is not bad. This is good. But overreacting, overdoing things, pushing yourself so hard till you will reach the point where you are really, really exhausted is not right. Slow down. Give yourself the time. Don't be lazy, but don't be obsessed like this. Give the situation the time and you will reach where you want to reach. I am not feeling any connection with any other energy for the time being from your side leo and this is the disappointment of this individual they think that they thought and maybe they are still thinking if they didn't came back yet that this is it what they will do here bringing themselves back to you will be the solution for everything the shock will be that you are not ready for them or for anyone. You are not here, Leo, anymore. You are not about love and relationships. You have a mission you want to finish. Give it enough time and you will finish your mission. Just do the right thing at the right time. Don't push. Don't control the situation. Don't control it. Give it the time that it needs to be reality. And it will be reality. Because you deserve this. And you are working hard to reach here. And you will. You are smart and strong. You are the magician. You will reach your goal. I don't feel a problem of not being confident. Your problem is not the self-confident, Leo. Your problem is time. You don't want to wait for long. 
you want to be here as fast as you can. This is not always right, my dear. Exhausting yourself is not right. Slow down and give the situation the time and it will take you where you want to go. Trust that. Let's see the outcome. The Five of Swords. For the time being, Neo, you are in this conflict. You are in the conflict about reaching fast, but not reaching as fast as you want. And the conflict from the other person's side is the shock about you not accepting them. You don't want them. And you don't want anyone. And this is the conflict in your life about saving time and in their life about lifting them out in the cold. I believe this person did this to themselves because in the past, when you were ready to be with them, they were not that honest individual who deserved to be with you. After that big mistakes that they did, now they are coming back and I believe you will tell them there is no more place for you, my dear. This area is occupied by me. I don't have any space to anyone for the time being. And in the future, if I have a place, that place will never be for you. Well, this is what I have for you, my dear. Thank you so much for being with me. Wish you all the best. I hope this was a helpful reading. Thanks again for all the love and the support. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.